business got the camera in the middle of the sea. nicest time on our little balcony area having rosé it was just completely did you just trip <laughs> <laughs> it was just really great um and uh yeah we're now going to get in this car here and it's going to take us to the north of the island to go to a really cool restaurant called hi called la paloma that i've been to before in case never been there and honestly it's so nice and i'm so excited to vlog it for you guys this is La Paloma. Isn't it gorgeous? It's literally one of my favourite restaurants in the whole world. Oh look, there's the moon up there. This is Parmigiana and it's delicious. And this is a sardine, what was this called Kate? Sardine sashimi. Sardine sashimi. Um, we said we'd pick one starter each and Kate and then share them and Kate chose this and I chose this, which is slightly rogue, but we thought let's just do it. I think so. Mm. Oh, it's kind of like, so yeah, it's really good, it's super salty. <laughs> but delicious. Good morning guys, it's the next day now and I just thought I would show you around our lovely place that we're staying in. The place that we're staying is called Seven Pines and it is beautiful. This is the view from our balcony. So, so pretty. Okay, so going inside, we have a little sofa area. Lovely beachy piece of artwork on the wall there. And then we've got this kind of open plan kitchen, which has been so nice. It's just been so nice to be able to have a fridge and look what it has in it. Whispering Angel, the best rosé of all time. So last night when we got in from the beach, we had some Whispering Angel. It feels kind of like we live here, even though we're only here for two nights. Um, and because we have like our own kitchen with our own glassware and could like pour ourselves a glass of rosé. Oh, and look, Kate's been eating an apple for breakfast. Um, we've got a fruit bowl. We have a little card from Seven Pines. What does it say? Dear Mrs. Burr and Mrs. Going, welcome to Seven Pines Resort Ibiza, to the magical island of Ibiza. Anyway, you probably don't want um, me to read you the card. Got a coffee machine. Kate's room is in there, but I won't show you in there because I don't know if she wants me to show you all of her stuff. And also, we haven't tidied our rooms <laughs> before I filmed this. Um, this is the bed. It's so squishy and comfy and the pillows are so nice. Have a TV and then have a TV. I've got my suitcase there, nice and messy. I need to tidy it up before I go. And then in here is the bathroom which again, I've made a big, big mess of. This is all of my makeup-y stuff. Oh, I need to put my necklace on. I forgot to do that today. And then I've got toiletries in this bag here. The shower is honestly amazing. You can basically have um, like a rainfall, I think that's called shower, or this bit just comes out like um like a big sheet of water kind of like a waterfall that's what i say that little line there does and then you've got the handheld one there too and really nice molten brown products my toilet not that you need to see that but yes it's absolutely gorgeous here and we're loving our little very short stay look how cool the pool is here there's another little pool there so many sun lounging areas hello Oh, your dress looks really nice from the back, Kate. Thank you. And I quite like the blue and the brown together too, although you definitely have a, come here. You have a label in it still. No, I can't get it out one-handed. We're heading up here because we desperately need coffee. I feel like everything I've said on this vlog isn't going to have made sense so far because we keep saying how we haven't actually woken up yet. 
This is so sad. It's like, it's like you've gone, fuck that. Don't laugh, Kate. Danny and Jack argument. If that's not you, what is that going on? You don't give a fuck about that. We can about this because we tend to. I just want them to be happy. They will be. Do you think? Yeah. Tomorrow's episode will be fine. On tonight's episode. Yeah, see, we're a bit behind, aren't we? Yeah, we, this is two nights ago, actually. Two nights ago. I already started eating them before I filmed them, but pancakes with chocolate and banana. So good. This is Sacoletta. We just did some sunbathing. Um, we bought towels with us and went down there and had a little sunbathe, went in the sea. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I just did a Barry's boot camp class. It was so hard. I don't have any other class that I've ever done in London that's made me as sweaty as a Barry's does. So I'm glad that I did it, got through it, and now I need to shower. Oh, and in case you're wondering, my sports bra, this is Sweaty Betty, and my leggings are also Sweaty Betty, and my shoes are um, APL. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys my um, makeup setup at the moment because I am so happy with it. My sister helped me get organized when she came to stay recently and um, it actually doesn't look that tidy right now, but if you remember what it was like before, this is one, a lot less stuff and two, way more organized. I used to have a tower of Muji storage going up here and that's why I just had to use that ledge window ledge to uh, do a time lapse of me doing my makeup for you guys because um i used to balance it on here so the only sad thing is that i now have nowhere to balance my camera if i want to film me doing my makeup i've just been enjoying sitting and doing my makeup so much more because i have so much less stuff to choose from it's still a lot of makeup i know but um there was so much stuff that i kept for years so this clear out was very much needed hair products this is literally all i use that's a brush cleanser, ignore that. Um, and then I always have plugged in this hairdryer and curling wand. Um, this is my makeup bag that's always like ready to go to the gym because sometimes I'll shower there and then go off about my day. Um, I now only have two brush thingies, I used to have like five. And then I got these little uh, baskets, copper baskets from Wilco. I used to have this big white basket here that was just piled with stuff and I couldn't see anything in there. So I like that these are see-through. Um, and obviously I've got rid of my story, so I got rid of so much stuff. And this one is eyes, this one is lips, and then this is face. I've got palettes here. I got rid, I parted with all my old MAC palettes, guys, that I've literally had since I started making YouTube videos like 10 years ago. So um, that was emotional, but I didn't use them anymore and they were so old and probably really unhygienic to use. Concealers, cotton buds and stuff. This is just kind of like um, lashes, brows and liners. Um, I forgot what I put in here. Oh, this is hair stuff. Um, yeah, that's everything. I promise I can actually make it look a bit tidier than it does right now. So today I basically did my um, makeup from my gym bag. This is my very quick post gym makeup look because I didn't want to have to bring all of this stuff over there um, to where I was filming me doing my makeup. The only thing that I put on extra when I got back here that wasn't in my bag is this Bobbi Brown palette, which I love so much. What's it called? Highlight and Glow Shimmer Brick Palette to show you has all these gorgeous colors and i put the pink one on today but usually i wear the apricotty one but i just felt like my face could do with a little bit of pink today and then i also used the dior lip glow that i wear every single day in the color 004 i don't know why i had to check the name because i do wear it every single day and then i just dried my hair and put a few curls in it and then the last thing that i do is add this to my hair this is the hair by Sam McKnight, barely there texture mist. And then I will be done. Just thought I'd 
to show you guys what I'm wearing today. This um, t-shirt I love and it's from a company called Double Rainbow. It's so cute. And um, these trousers are from Topshop. I got them a while ago so I don't know if they will still be available but i would tell you where they're from anyway. Just a really kind of like comfy, cozy outfit. And then I also wanted to show you guys in my wardrobe a couple of new things that I got recently because I feel like I haven't done that on my YouTube channel for ages. Um, let me put my tea down. I got, just gonna open this up, make it a bit lighter in here. Oh, I can bounce my camera on here. Yay. Oh my God. I'm loving the window ledges this morning. Right, you can probably hear the builders really noisy now. Um, I got this dress from a brand called Faithful, which is my favorite brand of the entire summer. It just has the nicest stuff ever. I love it so much. It has like a little, I don't know what this is called, kind of like elasticy top. And I never used to think that these suited me. And then I just thought, I'm just gonna get it and I can always return it if it doesn't work out. But it actually looks really nice on. And then what's great is that you can tie the these little bows, which then look really cute sitting on your shoulders. You can tie these at any kind of length um, that suits you, which is great for me because I always have to have stuff that's adjustable. Like any bikinis I buy have to have them adjustable because I, I'm weirdly short here fun fact about me um so stuff is always way too long for me there um and then it just this is it full length basically the weather has been so amazing we've been having just the most incredible summer here in london and all i want to wear are strappy mini dresses and you'd be surprised at how many brands aren't selling them so when i saw this i was like have to get it um and now the weather needs to get really nice again another little strappy mini dress is this one from Urban Outfitters. And I just think this is gorgeous. So, so pretty. I've got this in white as well, or like a creamy ivory color. Where is it? This one. Ah, don't fall in my tea. Um, but this is just the perfect length. And then the back is the best part about it. I don't know if you can see it. It's called a ladder back dress. Um, on Urban Outfitters and they, they do them in so many different colours and the material is like a really nice comfortable light linen and basically I'm really scared that because it's actually not as nice today outside hence why I'm wearing trousers and a t-shirt it's still warm but it's like it's not as um, crazy hot as it has been but I feel like having months of this crazy hot weather we've been having here um, has allowed me to really nail my crazy hot weather wardrobe. And basically it consists of little mini dresses, which is so crazy because I've worn midi dresses for years and never thought I'd go back to a mini, but because of this weather, I've just had to go there and I love it. And they have to be strappy. Cause also if you want to sunbathe and you're like out getting coffee or something with friends, it's nice to have like um, stra strappiness. So I either wear something like this or I wear shorts and a little top. And I get so many questions on Instagram about these shorts and I try to always answer people but there must be people who still don't see it. Um, about these shorts because they're the only ones I ever ever wear. And they're from Zara. I don't know if they still make them. Uh, I got them last summer. But these, if you ever see me wearing shorts um, on my Instagram or YouTube, this is them. They're from the Trafalok denim wear range. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you about them. They're, they're just really kind of, they have that like vintage look about them and I just love them so much. Sorry, just checking my camera's focusing. So yeah, those are my shorts that I live in. And then tops, oh, I got this the other day from Brandy Melville. I think this is adorable. Little crop t-shirt. I love Brandy Melville for their um, t-shirts because the material is so soft and they also last really, really well and they only cost about like 20 pounds or something maybe less um but the quality is amazing and i have i've got uh like here is a brandy melville t-shirt that i bought maybe five years ago and it's still going strong and is a really lovely soft t-shirt i think that's mainly what i've been buying recently i just wanted to give you guys a little wardrobe update oh i get tons of questions about this because i've worn this a lot this summer this little knit crop top 
I'm wearing it in one of my Instagram posts with my friend Reese, and um, basically I don't think it's available anymore. This was from Brandy Melville about two or three summers ago. Um, anything else that I want to show you guys? Let me just have a quick look. I think that's it. Right, I'm off to a meeting and then I'm going to go to the office and uh, edit and upload this vlog because I can't believe how crazy it is that it's just like I've ended up putting the most random footage together so sorry about that guys. I basically filmed some snippets in Ibiza thinking it was going to be like my last vlog where I just film bits and bobs and it all just adds together and then I got back from Ibiza and then I got an acting job and it kind of took over the, uh, my life and um, I can't tell you guys what it is yet because it's not been officially announced but it's done now. I filmed for it and um, yeah and so I haven't really been very like on it with filming and stuff like that. I promise my next video will be less disjointed if it feels like that. Hopefully it won't feel too disjointed. Okay got my laptop my plan now is to head to the office before I have to I have to basically shoot some stuff for a brand today and then got some meetings um this afternoon and so nothing that I would be filming anyway and I've decided to go and edit this footage and try and upload it. I've already edited the Ibiza bit so it hopefully won't take me too long because I just really am so excited to get this footage up for you guys and why not do it right now? So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.